It was, you know, like, uh, like uh, when you join again with your old friends, no, to, to make something together, to make a trip, to make a dinner, something like this. No? Uh, so again, finally, I wrote the screenplay. I asked every one of them, would you like if, if I write this story? And everyone was very enthusiastic. And all of them were saying, it's a joke, or you are seriously, are you going to write it? And I say, yeah, I'm thinking about if you, if the eight of you want, I will do it. So it was a challenge, but it was uh, certainly also complicated to uh, bring everybody together, to find a, a common space and time in order to uh, engage in this film. And uh, then also building up the sets, making uh, sets that looked like uh, the 50s in Madrid. So we had uh, uh, quite a number of, uh, uh, of takes there, and we had had to look around to find the right setting, and we uh, discovered the kind of setting in Budapest. I think this movie is in a tradition. Uh, we, should, we should think that uh, uh, Ernst Lubitsch, he made To Be or Not To Be during Hitler time, or Charles Chaplin did uh, The Great Dictator and when, <laughs> when Hitler was around. So today, I think... We are talking about the 50s, so it's like half a century later, so uh, it's, it's not a big issue. But I think the interesting thing about making a period comedy like this is that you talk also about today, no? but taking another way, no? another road. No? But I think that's the interesting thing about period movies. They, they don't talk about the past, they also talk about... Uh, our world. Uh, the takes of uh, Benoit Cruz, which was uh, lit in a special, sp special way, uh, which was a lighting that I was felt very passionate about when I started in uh, cinema, when I went to films to see uh, Rita Hayworth or Lana Turner. They, these stars of the period of the time had a very special lighting and that really illuminated their faces also for the spectators and when I was 15 years old I was really fascinated by that and uh, that has totally disappeared nowadays in cinema nowadays uh, stars are no longer the goddesses of the silver screen and the public doesn't react that same way anywhere, any, anyway so that is something that has really struck me in the development of cinema, and I tried to bring that back to life, the image of Sophia Loren, the world of Sophia Loren, and to bring that in line with this comedy world of all of these individual characters that are much more Italian in their grain, and then the darker side as well. What you call independent filmmaking is the only really important kind of filmmaking. The other kind of cinema, those that's the, the result of, a, of a factory uh, productions, those are franchises, etc. But uh, uh, independent filmmaking Making is a form of art, just uh, as literature is a form of art. It's the only form of, of film that you can really go and watch and see uh, honestly. That is uh, the product of, uh, of a struggle of people who really believe in what, they're, uh, what they've set themselves as aims, and that is very important. So this is a crucial moment. There is a battle going on right now between large corporations and those independent filmmakers, because in the olden days, uh, producers were individual personalities, and they could be either authoritarian or imposing, but they were, first and foremost, human beings of flesh and blood. And you could sit down and discuss with them, and you could also challenge them, and there could be a real debate. But nowadays, uh, cinema is really being produced by corporations, by uh, a whole machinery where nobody really decides, and everybody is sort of a, a small mosaic of a larger uh, 
machinery. But I do believe that film, independent filmmaking will carry the day at the end because uh, those products, those uh, fabricated products from those big factories are dead. They don't have any soul. Only independent filmmaking has real soul. If you want to tell something new, if you want to do it from a new angle, tell a new story, you can only do so in an independent way with real people. You cannot do this as a kind of a factory product, a mechanical uh, product. So film has to be independent, and if uh, film isn't independent, then it is a, an, in, uh, an imitation of film. It is a, uh, it pretends to be film. It uh, poses as film, but it is not really a film.